I'm here in Chamonix in the most incredible atmosphere, enjoying our executive mastermind. Sometimes we go to the sun, sometimes we go to the snow. And I'm just taking a moment to just look out at this incredible view. Let me just show you it here. Look at that. I'm here in the Four Seasons and I'm just taking a moment to be so incredibly grateful. Grateful to have the opportunity to be able to come to these places, have the opportunity to be able to try new things and to see the world in a different way. You know, today is a Monday and it's January. And there's probably some people in the world right now where it's Monday, it's January, they don't feel good. But it really comes down to where you place yourself, how you think, and how you start to really create a life of design, not of default. So I'm so grateful to my mentor, Bob Proctor, who taught me how to create abundance, how to create experiences. Life is not about money. Life is not about things. Life is about experiencing life. We're not here to get things. You can't take anything with you. We're not here to work, pay our taxes and die. We're here to experience life. So today I want you to ask yourself, what are you going to experience this year? That is something totally different. That is something that really stretches you. Whatever that is, I encourage you this year to make sure you create experiences with the people you love. That could be just you. That could be your family. That could be friends. And you will have so much more abundance in your life. There is perfection out here in the world for us all. But we've got to first think about it. We've got to first decide, yes, I would like to do that. You don't sit and go, oh, I wish I could go there and I wish I could, you know, go to these wonderful places. You can. It's only the fact that you think you can't is why you then never come up with the ideas that will ultimately allow you to be able to create this experience. So don't count yourself out, count yourself in. You may not be able to have the money to pay for it now, but if you just start entertaining the idea, this is so easy to get emotional around. I remember it was probably 2017 when I first heard of Chamonix. It was actually a nurse, it was a friend of mine who was booking a holiday there and I was like, whoa, where is that? I didn't do skiing in primary school, um, so I had no experience of this. But I remember back then going, yeah, I want to do that. I want that to be a choice for me. So today as you watch this video, I want you to decide that you're going to make this a choice for you. It may not be now, but if you can really hold the idea, if you really start to build the experience, you're going to find it actually very easy to emotionalize because you can, I can emotionalize being here in this setting so much more than buying things. So I hope today this inspires you. I hope that you can see the beauty that surrounds me here. And uh, yeah, just decide today that you're going to have one of these experiences as well, whatever that may be. And make it around nature. Look at the abundance abundance of snow, abundance of the nature just looking after us. There's abundance everywhere, guys. If you just look for it, you see it in your mind, you will hold it in your hands. year specifically within our one year mentorship and that is how can you focus on creating experiences this year not so much make lots of money have lots of things and we're all for that because we understand about abundance we understand about well if we're god's highest form of creation why not have the best but for us it's always been about experiences it's always been about love, love. and <laughs> living life to its fullest so I've got two lessons or messages for you today. Number one, just take a look at the abundance. Mm -hmm. And like abundance is a word that some people throw around and we don't really understand how to leverage the word. But abundance is a feeling. Feeling is the secret to success. 
the more abundance you can feel in your life, the more abundance you can actually cultivate and feel and experience, the richer life becomes. So I want you today to practice thinking, where can I see abundance? Now you may not have this view, you possibly may not, you might have an abundance of other things in your life, like go out to the garden, look at the abundance of trees, the, just the abundance that's everywhere. And if you can focus on that rather than all the other things that we focus on, you will cultivate a feeling of having enough. If there's one thing that holds people back in life, it's what held me back for 28 years, was that I thought I wasn't enough. When I met Lindsay, like, oh my goodness, I wouldn't even get a photograph with Lindsay because- About a year, guys, <laughs> about a year. <laughs> totally, because I was so obsessed that I wasn't enough. And if Lindsay's seen that on camera, a picture of us, then obviously she'd waken up. That's how negative my self-talk was. That's how negative my self-worth was. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know where I picked that up. And I don't think many people know where they picked that up. We just mm -hmm. all never think, well, I can do that. Yeah. And if there's one thing Bob Proctor has taught me in all those years that I worked by his side personally, is that I am enough. And in order for me to have a thriving relationship with my wife, I had to love me first. And that was a really, really huge, huge part of being able to live this incredible lifestyle. Um, so Lindsay, what was it like for you? I suppose we'll give you a backstory. <laughs> Lindsay's the person that did this. Yeah. Rolled her eyes when I fun. first said, no, we were just set the scene. We were living in a pretty not so great area. Um, I was a nurse. Lindsay was working in financial services and we were just, you know, what we call normal people, but that's not true. We were extraordinary inside. We just didn't know how to bring it to the outside. And of course, as are you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Bob taught us. Bob's met Lindsay. I mean, loves Lindsay. Winds me up quite a lot. <laughs> and um, we know both with even in, as a couple, we know we're enough, but as single entities, yeah. that's the key. Um, that, was, that was really important for me. It was really important for me probably more so about three years ago. Um, as most of you guys probably heard, my story is a little different from Kim's in that I didn't have <clears throat> that kind of belief of if someone else can do it, so can I. I didn't understand that. I really had perceptions around how people created lifestyles like this. I had perceptions around what I was capable of. I even had perceptions around what other people were capable of. But until I really fully understood potential and that we are all here and we are all enough and that we are all extraordinary, the only thing that we have to do is accept it and find our own awesome way to express it. Totally. Uh, but that wasn't always the case. It took me quite some time to get my head around actually a lot of different things, but money was a big one. Um, and stepping into this material and watching Kim like explode on a business level, on a personal level, for me, that kind of really started to pique my interest more because I got surrounded, I suppose, by so many clients doing awesome mm -hmm. things and that shifted a lot for me, Yeah, a lot. Totally. And I mean, we're so different as individuals. <laughs> I'm what we call a very right brain dominant. I'm kind of like, yeah, we'll work it out. And I'm a visionary, give me pictures. Very creative, easy going, yeah, going. Totally. Not me. Lindsay, mm -hmm. a little bit different. I'm a bit of a control freak. I like <laughs> to know everything before I do anything. Mm -hmm. I want to know the whole, not, the, not just the first or second step. I wanted to know the whole A right through to Z. I needed to know everything before I took one step forward. And, and if it's on a spreadsheet, even better. Always on a spreadsheet. <laughs> I mean, Kim draws a lot, Lindsay spreadsheets a lot. Yeah. Um, but we're so, so different than that side in that uh, I very much thought inside the box and always try to piece those things together. Kim totally went from within, from a faith understanding. And again, your imagination was so expansive because of your self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And I suppose this material and knowing what you were capable of, I still didn't think I was capable of it for quite some time until I got, I suppose, brave enough uh, to take one step forward. Yeah. To just actually go, let's just, let's just try that, see what happens, get some feedback, course correct. That made sense, but it took me a little while to get there and I wish it hadn't, but it did. Um, and I suppose one of my kind of passions is to make sure that people 
live the life that they want to live and do it a little bit faster than what I chose to do it. Um, but I suppose with the network that we have, that becomes a lot easier because it's, it's not just Kim, it's not just the team. We have an incredible community around there who allows you to stretch those thoughts, to stretch those beliefs and to add a little bit more of faith each and every time. And to share, like there's going to be certain people will watch this video and they'll think, oh, well, it's what it's good for them. And oh, look at that. They're in their fancy chalet in mm -hmm. France. And yeah, we are. But we're just like you. We're no different. Now, I know probably some of you watching this will still think you are different. And I suppose the truth is you are because we're all unique, yeah. but we're all from the same oneness. And that's what Bob taught me. That's why I was able to create that faith because I no longer thought Oh, it's just Kim. It's Kim and the universe at work. Um, learning to understand the universal laws, learning how to work with them, harness them for good. Because here's the truth, guys. There are universal laws and you, you operate with them every single second of every single day. Yeah. The problem is nobody ever taught us this. And when you learn how to first understand them and that's only one part if some of you are going oh yeah universal laws i got them i would get you to go okay what are your results showing because there's a difference between and you would know you can do your theory driving tests you can get all the answers right <laughs> but until you get behind the wheel and experience it that's where the true learning comes from implementation yeah. now that's why we're very excited to invite you to our five day event, the Bob Proctor Tribute. This is going to be such a personal event for both of us um, on many different levels. But I suppose more for me in the sense of we are coming up to the one year anniversary of Bob having passed on. And I just am so filled with joy, with love, with appreciation of the valuable lessons. Like you just imagine, I, Kim Calvert from a wee tiny, tiny island got to go and spend six years at the foot of a master thinker. And I'm now here giving it to you. So across these five days, I'm, it's not going to be like a teaching event. It's not going to be like any other event we've done. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be very raw. It's gonna be very real. We're gonna talk straight. We're gonna basically break down the five days and going, right, what did Bob teach me about goals? What did Bob teach me about the universal laws and how to apply them? What did Bob teach me around closing those gaps so that I no longer procrastinate or self-sabotage? And we're going to go over all of that in the five days. We're also going to have Bob doing some work. And uh, I know out there somewhere, he's going to be loving every second of this. I'm so grateful that you are here on our YouTube channel. Please make sure and subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave me a comment. Let me know what you love and we'll bring more incredible content to you soon.